Hey guys, Sarah here with The Glitter Guy, and today we are going to make a coaster holding mold. Not the actual mold, just the coaster holder out of a mold to go with the really cute coasters we made last week. I also have a second mold. I think this one is going to be a little washer for your brush, uh, but we're going to find out when we demold it, aren't we? I am a professional hoarder of craft supplies, so I figured what's better than just bringing them all out and playing with them every Wednesday? This is a sturdy mold. I don't remember where I got this. God, it had to have been Amazon. That's gonna take a lot of epoxy. All right, here we go. I have no idea how much epoxy these are gonna take. I don't know if I have 100 milliliters here. Let's get started, shall we? One thing I absolutely detest, mixing epoxy. <laughs> Bound to happen eventually. This is a great time for my Wednesday disclaimer. I would like you guys to all know this is absolutely in no way a tutorial. I'm just hanging out and obviously today making a mess. It was this one. Well, when this doesn't cure, we'll know why. We'll blame Chris. All right, this is gonna be a nightmare. No, I wanted to do the other, all right. I always like to do the thicker one first. No, I don't. I like to do the liquidy one first. Cause when you pour it in, it kind of like, it's heavier so it like goes in and separates. Whereas the other one just kind of lays on top because it's softer. Softer's not the word I wanted, but it's what I went with. They're both liquidy. I don't craft a lot these past years, but I'm getting back into it. I know that we're gonna need more than that. So let's, let's just mix it. Let's just go for it. We got like 40 minutes of work time anyway. So I can definitely like divvy this up and put some glitter. Oh, cause I want to do two different glitters anyway. This is gonna be great. Yeah, these are both liquidy. So either I screwed up when I put these in the bottle period or we're good. I think we're golden. Golden-ish, if you will. I'm glad I chose resin rockers because they have like, I'm pretty sure they have the, they're the ones with the bubble thing. It should be releasing my bubbles as a mix, but we're gonna find out because I am a bug to a bug light with bubbles. Like they just come to me and that joke was way better in my head than it came out, so. There's so many bubbles in my arm is tired. My problem is I don't time it like it says to. I don't like pay attention to my head. And then by the time I get in, I'm like, all right, well my arm hurts. So maybe I mixed it enough, but then I'm like, am I just weak? And I haven't really mixed it enough. So then I'll sit here forever and mix it. All right, you pop yourselves. I'm gonna get a littler cup. Little or a word? I don't think it is. It didn't sound like a word. Apparently, we're supposed to let this rest for five minutes, but we already know me and I'm impatient, so we're gonna we're gonna do a rendition of that. I gotta tell you, I'm pretty impressed with the bubble popping. <laughs> so this is for our Super Bowl mold. So we're still gonna do both colors. Boom. All right, so I literally don't know how much to mix for either side, but I'm gonna pour a little bit in here. A little bit in here. Make it nice and even. So neither of the Kelsey brothers get upset with me. <laughs> Jason said that they're upset with how much of a big deal they're making of that, but I don't know. I think it's kind of cool. All right, so a little bit for you. <laughs> and a little bit for you. I always ask him to watch my full tutorials because I hate hearing my voice, but that's kind of changing these days. And he tells me that he does watch them and this is gonna be a test. I'm gonna see if he uh, heard my little comment that he's a hot mess or not. Yeah, babe, I watched it, it was great. I loved everything about it. I'm gonna put yellow ink in it because I feel like it's gonna come up too translucent-y. So I'm gonna put all I want in there, except that it's not gonna come out, so joke's on me. That actually does look like a Chiefs thing in there. I'm curious how these two are gonna mesh together though. I, in my head, it's working out great, and I don't know. I think I'm gonna start pouring them at the same time. We are doing it. I got bubbles, cause I always got bubbles. I shouldn't put my face that close to it. I know that. I know better. No, why are you sneaking? They're sneaking. The Chiefs are escaping. I gotta tell you though, this took out a lot of them bubbles and I wanna do it again, but I think that's what pushed the resin out. All right, guys, we're gonna let that sit and see what happens. I think I've tortured Lindsay enough with the smell of epoxy and we're gonna pour that guy next time. So it gives you a little bit uh, of something to look forward to because I think that's gonna turn out pretty cool. I do have some more epoxy left though. We're not gonna waste it. I got this cute little mold. 
he's all detached, but I, I'm, he's got little holes in him, so we're gonna pop it out. Looks like I can uh, put him, you know, put him back together. Now I got the Frozen song stuck in my head. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Ooh, that was a lovely pull. Best to grab another mold, shall I? It's a watermelon. All right, skeleton guy, and just in case, I bought a little lit wedge. Look at, see, all oh, that freaking glitter in there. And if not, YOLO. All right, guys, we are not done here, but I do have to let these set, don't I? So I can't wait to see what happens when we demold them. So it's gonna be a whole day for me. It's gonna be, I don't know, two or three seconds for you guys, so I'll see you soon. So I already did my coasters. I poured my coaster holding mold. Of course, it seems to have decided to go. Luckily, we have our silicone mat because it dripped all the way out. And we have our little extra molds. I'm gonna demold them. Ah, I got it. Boom. Cool, so we have, we have our holder. Let's see if they'll fit. Some of them fit. The circle ones fit. Okay, clearly the square ones were not from this set, but that is okay because I own the molds and I can make more molds for my little mold holder. Let's see how our molds turned out. This was with the extra epoxy we had in the cup. I can trim that up with my rotary blade later on. Came out pretty cute for just alcohol inks. This guy's going to be in pieces. I'm going to have to get some hardware later on to put him together. Oh, he looks adorable. He's stuck together because of my epoxy, but it came with all the little holes in it. So I can later on just take some jump rings and connect his little body. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I'm a little sad that I didn't check to see if the big square ones were part of the set that came with the holder. Make sure to like and subscribe to our channel so you can always see what's coming out. And I hope that you enjoyed our craft. Join us next Wednesday and see what we make.